Hello again, YouTubers. Matt the StarCraft back with game two between our green Protoss Slider and our red Zerg MTW Demaga for the Gigabyte Cup. First game, we did see Slider take it with a two base, uh, early fast expansion, two base um, build, which with four Colossus mixed in. Very typical death ball from a Protoss. And, um,. Damaga's Infester Zergling play just wasn't able to hold it off. He did attempt to push the third base as Slider was grabbing it, but sadly was not powerful enough to take it. Was There were some money force fields, a great wall off with pylons, and just did not allow um, Damaga to really do any damage whatsoever. And, and he just counterattacked Damaga and was able to clean it up. Slider being only in the Diamond League right now um, of the EU server, but again, as I've been told, uh, the EU server is considered more powerful. Um, or more powerful, quote unquote, to say, harder than the North American servers. So, not it's not saying much. It's in Diamond, and again, he's competing in pro tournaments, and he did beat the Maga, so he is no slouch. Um, so we'll see what happens to game two. This will be taking place on Shakura's plateau, and I'm excited. I'm very excited. Demaga, known for his Infester Ling play, was defeated. So we'll see if he attempts something different this time. Uh, Slider doing a little bit of mineral harass, just uh, scooping up a mouthful of minerals and scooching on out of there, laughing all the while. Uh, just checking to see if there's any gas up right now. And uh, again, against a Protoss, typically uh, what you see from a Zerg is to grab pool gas, and that looks like what he's going to be doing again as Protoss in the higher leagues almost always, always 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 pylon block your natural especially if they uh, fast expand or forge fast expand so they can cannon up your natural and just prevent you from grabbing it forcing you to go grab uh, a second base somewhere a little bit further away and not really allowing a, so a safe drone transfer so it looks like that's exactly what the manga is going to be doing sorry I'm taking a drink of iced tea again is to be going that a spawning pool gas bill just to get those zerglings out a little bit earlier so they can ward off the cannon push if that's exactly what he's going for and it does look like slider is going to be doing the same build early game as well as going nexus first prior to anything which is so 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 dangerous if demonga decided to do uh very quick speedlings uh aggressive speedlings and not just grab them for um the natural so we'll see if that's exactly what he does if he's able to pop out speedlings fairly early which he will once he has 100 gas um, he'll, he might be able to put some pressure on here, but uh, unless the forge goes down first and uh, the cannon pops up, maybe not, because there is a hole. There should be a hole right there, and it does look like he was going to be pylon blocking, but see, having those zerglings out much earlier actually allows him to just shut this sucker down and not allow him. He's going to let it cancel. No, he's not going to cancel. Surprising, he just lost some minerals there. He could have recovered a sur of some of them, but instead decided to just let it go down, delaying that natural just a few precious extra seconds. We'll see if that ends up paying off for him. And I apologize, I keep taking drinks, and it looks like he's going to be dropping a pile on here. Slider is being a sneaky bastard. Another pylon down here. I'll probably allow him to warp in on the high ground if he gets vision up there. We'll see what he decides to do. Um, now he does. Uh, Demanga does know it's there, and he is going to be dropping a cannon. So low ground cannon canceling as those zerglings show up, and just going to kill off this pylon. So attempted a second cannon rush in a weird position here. Again, if probably somebody gets a robo wave, gets his uh, you know his observer going, and he can just drop his observer here, pick off everything uh, that he needs or any floating overlords but we'll see if that ends up doing anything this overlord just gonna get a good old view of everything that's going on checking out gas timings know exactly what's happening as far as the natural goes um damaga and slider are pretty much equal on the work account slider having a one up but that can be quickly changed with the power of the zerg larva management and it looks like he's gonna be going very very early third this is something we should have seen him do last game since uh slider did do a very similar build where he grabbed a nexus first then opened up into a third later on but damaga waited for that till that seven minute uh like 7 minute 30 second mark ish I believe to grab his third which is like 2 minutes prior to when he was pla uh, planning on getting it this game and this could definitely help him out as getting uh, trying to equal him out and get keep one base on top of his opponent especially in the early game is essential um, again when you have a Protoss that fast expand typically there's only two things you can do it's grab an expansion of your own immediately or go roaches 
very, very quickly and punish him. As you can see, Slider really having no units right now. Uh, Damaga not in any threat to be uh, attacked, so grabbing that third is a safe and sure thing as of right now. It does look like we have two more gateways on the way with level 1 weapons upgrade going down. So transitioning into, oh, now another gateway going down. So transitioning into your, uh, another one going down. So potentially transitioning it over into a, a six gate while this Artosis pylon powers them all. And it does look like we're going into a six gate build. Gateway units are very good. Whoa, seven gateway slider is going freaking crazy. So not planning on macroing up much more, at least not right now. Has cut pro production altogether and is going straight for an aggressive build. Chrono boosting that cyber core out. So it looks like, wow, he's going super, super, super aggressive. Um, does Damaga know about this with his overlord? He has no freaking idea. Just knows a pylon was being dropped down over there. And now slowly going to be warping them in there. And now he's dropping a proxy pylon over in the corner of the map. This could be huge to uh, Damaga. Damaga not expecting it whatsoever. Has no idea. He's essentially getting seven gated. One, two, three, four, five, six. S uh, yes, yes, I can count, ladies and gentlemen. It is official. He is getting seven gated. He is completely savoring up a ton of minerals right now. Going to be popping out all kinds of units momentarily. We do have... Whoa, he's got all kinds of proxy pylons. What in the crap slider are you doing? Suddenly getting really angry at Damaga. And Damaga not even close to ready for this. If we take a look at the unit count, his army consists of 24 Zerglings. 24 Zerglings, and with all these force fields, they could be just completely tickled to death. I don't know how he's going to be able to hold this off. This could be extremely dangerous. Uh, where are those Zerglings? And a few Roaches. Again, a Roach mixed in. This third is pretty much done. Dropping another Pylon. So every time he loses a Pylon, he could easily got drop back points. He could summon and reinforcements from. And now Stalkers are coming in. And the question is, how is the going to react to this? You can see a bunch of Roaches going up. Roach is good against this army, but the problem is these sentries could force field the hell out of this Roach army and keep them. I mean, I was trying to go for a flank, moving in on the backside, but look at all those force fields with all those sentries. Not going to be able to get anywhere near that army with those Zerglings. Pretty much useless, and now choking those Roaches right on that ramp. Easy pickings for the uh, for the Stalkers and the sentries and the Zealots. The Zealots are pretty much there to just absorb the damage. Now just down to about four Roaches, and here come a bunch more Stalkers. And Zealots just completely being warped in. And now I don't know what Damaga is able to do. The very first push could be the very last push for Damaga himself. This push is just dangerous. Did not expect to get 7 gated at all. He does have 30 Zerglings on the way. But as you can see, Slider smartly force fielding off the main. So that whatever free enforcements, such as the Roaches, pop up from the, net, the main. They can't really get through. And there they go. Just got to move out of the range of those Roaches. Just so they can really just be useless. And now... Slider just going to quickly wrap this up, it looks like, as I don't think Damaga can do much else other than hope and pray that maybe, just maybe, he can fight off this army. But even if he fights off this army, uh, he's kind of in a position where he's not going to be able to really handle much else, as he does have seven gateways, and he can continue to push out with those units, and there's the GG and the good luck. Well-mannered, as always, Damaga. So, great game, best of three, take it straight by Slider, the Diamond Leaguer of the European servers. Uh, great game to watch, and as always, guys, subscribe and keep an eye out for my video on Friday. For that, we'll announce my next um, giveaways and uh, contests, and it will also be announcing the winner of this Manishiwa coaching lesson. Thanks, guys, and I will see you next cast.